What is up, you buttercups? It's your friendly neighborhood burial boy coming in hot with some Destiny 2 news. They just dropped a Beyond Light launch trailer, and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty damn dope. I mean, if there's one thing that Bungie has really gotten good at, they've really nailed it, is how to get you hyped as hell just through their launch trailers or through their little reveals they know how to get the hype rolling so if you haven't seen it already we're gonna watch it i'll leave a timestamp if you want to skip past it and get straight to it but we're gonna watch it together and then we're gonna go over it in a little bit more detail guys so let's get digging the light and dark ready themselves for a new phase so must we The day we've been dreading has finally arrived. The darkness is here. We are deploying guardians to all corners of the system to find answers. I'm picking up a distress signal. Someone's in trouble. My friends, we are all in great danger. The Vanguard only recognizes the light. Someone has to do the same for the dark. Stasis is just a tool. We must use it for good. This power is a gift. One I will share with all of you. One by one, we will rise again. Okay, so, oh uh, my god, like, first off, did you not hear the musical score in that? Okay, we all know, yes, that's Paint It Black, and yes, that's just a great song as it is already, but man, that dope-ass rendition of it was just epic. I, it was incredible. I, it was just awesome. And I think it really helped set a tone for everything really nicely. But anyway, getting into what we're actually seeing here, uh, first here, you know, we get some more NPC interaction, a little bit more cinematic hearing a little bit more from Eris. I actually really love how you can kind of see, especially here in this trailer, that the Stranger, Drifter, and Eris are kind of like the anti-Vanguard darkness propaganda people. So I find it really fitting that it would be these three that are going to be kind of our main uh, NPC interactions that we have on Europa. But I like here we can see some more of these darkness structures right here. And I mean, and these things are gorgeous. And here we see a scene of a bunch of guardians running in the tower, uh, almost like a, a sense of emergency that, hey, we got to fucking go. And just that the epicness of your guardian walking through the center to your ship as everyone else is scouring away. I think that is really awesome. And then right here, we get to see actually Eris, the stranger and the drifter in action. I think that's really cool to see Eris and the drifter in action. Something we don't really actually get to see. Eris is pretty slick. She's a bad bitch. We all know it. And Drifter, I feel like we're only getting to see a, a scratch of the surface of what he can do. And clearly, it's made abundantly clear here that the Exo Stranger is not one to be fucked with. I mean, just look at her. Good job. And so I'm also really enjoying getting to see some of these, uh, some more of these darkness structures. I mean, you just look here, just the the massive size of them. I think it's incredible. But we really don't understand how big this is going to be. And here we get some of these guardians riding through, and out of nowhere, skadoosh! Just giant mech warrior dropping down in your face. Like, 
I'm wondering, is that going to be something that happens like in open world? Or you just be riding your spare through an open world, doing patrols and out of nowhere, you know, Mech Man dropping on your forehead? Like, oh, that's so cool. Either way, I think it's really cool we're actually getting to see some of these, uh, these exotics in use. We're so getting get to see a little bit more of them. Right here, we're getting to take a little bit more look at and some action of Aramis's lieutenants. Now, these guys look pretty nasty. I mean, they're, they're something serious. I have a feeling they're actually going to be in a force to be reckoned with. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun fighting them, going against them, and seeing the interactions we have with them and their fight style and the, the abilities they have. And they look really awesome. So getting to see some more of them here is really nice. As you can see here, we get an up-close look of what appears to be an Exo's eye. Um, and maybe something to do with Clovis Bray. I'm, I'm assuming it has to. I think we're going to have a lot more to do with Clovis Bray, the expansion, than I think most people realize. Uh, especially with all the interactions and everything we're getting with the Deepstone Crypt. Oh, and this part right here. Watch this, watch this. Boom! Dude, looked like that was so cool. Like, literally, one of Aramis's lieutenants gliding down on top of a shank, and then as it gets close to the ground, just yeets it to the ground. And I'm really curious to see a little bit more on what this giant area is. This, this area right here is clearly massive. I don't really think it's part of the raid per se, uh, maybe part of a strike, but either way, this is a really massive area, and I mean, it looks really impressive. The structure of this is incredibly impressive. And, and then right here, look. You are not special. I ain't even met the bitch yet. She already tell me I'm not special. Like, Aramis is, she's a bad bitch. She's definitely one of the cooler, I think, antagonists we have here. I mean, just, she's a leader. She's fierce. She's on a warpath. And she is not to be fucked with. She is something serious, and I'm really glad we've gotten her and the, the persona that she has as our antagonist here. And I think it's really nice right here to get a little bit more of a look of the Cosmodrone, kind of above and below ground. Um, see right here, this kind of looks a bit like the last array area from D1. Um, you, like, you can see it's a Lost Sector, because you can see the chest in the middle of the area. It's pretty signature to all the other Lost Sector chests, but I mean, it's pretty similar to that area from D1. So it's really nice to get to see a little bit more of the Cosmodrone as well as just some of the abilities and the stasis powers being used in play. I mean, it's really nice. And then right here at the end, seeing one of these giant, well, I guess what they were called brigs, is what they were referred to in the Vidoc, how massive these things are. It's almost like Scourge of the Past size. I mean, this thing is going to be huge, and we're going to be seeing a lot of them around, so that's pretty exciting to see. But that's just a quick little video for you guys. That'll wrap us up for today. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think? If there's anything maybe in this trailer that you saw that I missed, maybe something that you want to start up a conversation on, drop a comment down below. Make sure to hit the like button if you don't mind. It really helps me a lot here on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you smash that bell icon when you do so you can stay up to date with everything that I bring you here on the channel. And I really appreciate you guys stopping in, man. All right. Remember, guys, life's a grave. Just dig it.